My name's Dave Starling. I'm the Chief Architect at Pixolve. Mm -hmm. Pixolve are the world's leading supplier of video and photography systems for uh, amusement parks, theme parks and uh, the entertainment industry around the world. Our retail platform has always been mostly around the physical product, being able to sell photos, keychains, magnets and so on. And um, as we push the digital and sharing um, product to allow people to share their photos immediately, to be able to engage with them on a, on a, on a much better level than just at a retail proposition, um, Couchbase will enable us to do that um, much more easily than we could have done had we were developing the, the system to do the ourselves. We want, we want to build features for our customers. We don't want to be building database and, and syncing systems. We're, we're a customer of Couchbase's um, Couchbase Lite product. We use it um, on our uh, systems on park, so we use it in an embedded environment. But we also um, have a mobile app that we'll be looking to migrate over to Couchbase Lite um, over the next year or so. We have a long list of features and Couchbase Lite will solve a lot of those problems. We're actually a customer of Couchbase for our mobile platform. So we're using, um, whilst we have a mobile product, um, we're rapidly growing that um, this year and, and over the coming years and we have a huge feature list. Um, we're also using Couchbase, Couchbase's mobile product on embedded systems, so Raspberry Pis and low power machines that power things like our cameras, those are all going to be running the Couchbase Lite mobile product. But at the same time we'll also um, look at migrating our, our app to use the Couchbase Lite mobile product and that will solve a lot of the problems that we have where theme parks that we operate in have very poor network connectivity. No one, has, no one can get 3G or 4G on a park. So to be able to operate in an offline mode as Couchbase Lite can do is a huge benefit to us and our users. Couchbase made the cut because um, they were incredibly engaging with us to start with. They were really interested in our use case. They um, looked at it as something more than just a, a standard website um, running uh, online. It was um, you know, an area that they felt they could offer uh, capabilities that other systems couldn't. So um, that was one reason. Another reason was that it provided a lot of the functionality that we needed that, were very, uh, that solved problems that were very specific to our industry. So our industry has problems with network connectivity, for example. So um, to be able to handle those gracefully that a lot of the other enterprise class databases couldn't, that was a real boon for us.